Today, we're going to learn about the features and functions of the Centrella Smart Plus bed. First, you will want to ensure that the bed is plugged in. The Centrella Smart Plus bed has a gray cord that powers the bed and charges the battery backup. The battery backup allows you to articulate the bed when not plugged into power. If your bed has an additional white cord, that is the auxiliary power cord. The auxiliary outlet is located on the patient left foot section. Now remember, no life-saving equipment should be plugged in there, no vents or IVs. After you ensure the bed is plugged in, you will also want to make sure that the communication is plugged in. If not, you will hear an audible alert. In addition, you will want to make sure that your brake is set. Right now it is set. If you put it into steer, brake not set. You will hear the audible alert that the brake is not set. There are other verbal alerts you'll hear as well when using the bed. Let's take a look at the touch screen. You will notice the question mark here at your top left hand corner. This will allow you to look at a variety of features and functions on the bed. For example, if you'd like to know where the restraints are located, you can select restraints and it will show you a picture of where they are located. The bed accommodates patients from 70 pounds to 500 pounds. I will now demonstrate how to zero the bed and weigh your patient. If you go down from your home button, you will see a picture of the scale. Once you select the scale, you will then select zero. If you have a new patient in the bed, you will want to select new patient. It will walk you through what you will want to make sure you have on the bed. For example, you will want to make sure the linens and any additional equipment are on the bed. Then you will select continue. It will prompt you to let go of the bed once that is completed, it will say your bed is ready for a new patient. We have put some weight in the bed to simulate a patient. So now let's weigh the patient. I will now go back to my weight symbol. I will select weigh and OK. It will prompt you to let go of the bed to make sure it gets an accurate reading. When it does so, you will hear a single beep. You now see the patient's weight. I will push save. Now let's address patient risk areas. Based on your facility protocol, if the patient is a falls risk, you will want to set your bed exit alarm. The button right below your home button is where your bed exit alerts will be. There are three different modes of bed exit. It goes from highest sensitivity to lowest sensitivity. The first one is changes positions. If a patient changes positions in the bed, the bed exit will alarm. The second is move towards edge. If your patient moves towards the edge of the bed, the bed exit will alarm. And the last is has left the bed. If your patient has gotten out of the bed for your non-falls risk patients, it will then alert you. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set and silence a bed exit alarm. I am going to set changes position. When your patient changes positions in the bed, your bed exit alarm will go off. You will then, as a caregiver, come into the room and silence the bed exit alarm by pushing the silence button. My patient is in the bed and I am going to set the bed exit I'm going to set moves towards edge. Please don't get up. The care team I have silenced bed exit alarm. I am going to put my patient back in the bed. Now you will see bed exit has automatically reset. If I am not in the room and my patient attempts to get out of the bed unassisted, 
the alarm will trigger. I will then come into the room and silence the alarm and put my patient back in the bed. And once I've placed my patient back in the bed, my bed exit will automatically turn back on. If I know that I'm going to get my patient out of the bed to take him to the restroom or to take him for a walk down the hall, I will come in and preemptively silence the bed exit alarm. In this scenario, I can then take my patient out of the bed and take them wherever I need to take them. And I will then put my patient back in the bed and the alarm will automatically reset. There is no need to ever turn off the bed exit alarm. The bed exit is then waiting for your patient to get back into the bed. If you have Safe View Plus, you will see three different icons at the foot of the bed. These icons will project onto the floor. The first one is showing us that your side rail is up to protocol. If it is up to protocol, it will illuminate green. Your second one is showing whether or not your bed exit is set. If bed exit is set, it will illuminate green. And your third is whether or not your bed is in the lowest position. If it is, it will also illuminate green. If your side rail is out of protocol, it will flash amber. If your bed exit is off, the icon will illuminate blue. And if your bed is not in the lowest position, it will flash amber. Right here, you will see a hip indicator. This is where you want your patient's hips to be aligned to in the bed. This will help minimize patient migration down towards the foot of the bed. Another function this bed has is flex a foot. If you go to the home screen, you will see the foot extension. This will allow you to extend the foot of the bed an additional 12 inches from 76 inches to 88 inches. This allows you to extend the foot for taller patients and retract the foot for shorter patients. Let's take a look at your head of bed angle alarm. As part of your hospital's vent or tube feeding protocols, setting the alarm doesn't restrict patients' ability to move their head up. However, it will restrict anyone from moving below 30 degrees. This function is unavailable on your home screen, you also have the chair position feature. Chair position may assist when positioning patient for dining, watching television, or conversing with family. To initiate CPR, you will pull the lever and the bed will go down. For chest compressions, you can pull up on the headboard and lay it down as a backboard. If you have a 355 Centrella Smart Plus bed, you will have Max Inflate, which will allow you to firm the surface. On the home screen, you will go to the surface control and select Max Inflate. When that surface firms up, it may allow for easier patient positioning as well as side egress. It will count down from 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes is completed, it will return to a normal surface. If you'd like to return to the normal surface sooner, you can select normal at any time. If you are doing a skin or lung assessment, you can engage the turn assist feature. In order to do this, you will go to the home screen, select the surface icon, and in this scenario, I'm going to turn my patient to the left. If turn assist failed to start comes up, you can select the adjust bed button, which will ensure your bed is in the optimal position for a turn. You can stop the turn assist at any time if your patient has reached the optimal turn angle. The turn assist will stay for 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes, it will go back down to normal. 
If you have a patient experience pod, you can place in your iPad or electronic device here. On the back, you have a USB charger and you also have a USB charger on the side rail. When cleaning and disinfecting your Centrella Smart Plus bed, follow your facility's policy for proper cleaning and disinfecting. Refer to the Hillrom user manual for a list of approved cleaning and disinfecting agents. In order to properly clean the deck, you must remove the footboard and disconnect the mattress from the frame. Do this by sliding the white knobs out of the sockets. Lift up and clean the deck, and then ensure the knobs are back in place for proper function. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please contact your local Hillrom representative. We encourage you to complete the Centrella Smart Plus Bed eLearning module on hillrom.com.